Why hello everybody, welcome to another level up and today we're going to talk about Castilian um, today is basically um, a rule add-on I would I play that I feel really adds some some more depth into Castilian um, I feel Castilian is a two-player game is quite strategic um, and basically uh, during our plays, me and my brother and all um, I noticed that if you add this one rule I'm going to talk, uh, talk to you about it really adds a bit more depth to the game. It doesn't happen very often, but the fact that it could happen really sets off a lot of dynamics in the game. And the simple rule is, of course, that if a castle is surrounded by four castles, all right, you get to basically um, remove the castle in the middle. So we tried the so-called other variant where you actually get to score the point of mill but I feel that's overpowering and it kind of throws off that balance because of the number of pieces so um, the rule I made was that if you surround it and you get to remove the tower now the simple few rules to add on to that is um, that if you look at the pieces they have doors and if a castle a tower really has a escape route through a door it's allowed to, it's not um, basically taken over. Uh, and that is important because, you know, if you had this situation here, let's say, um, let's see, like this. And if the doors are important because you could actually want to put, instead of putting, let's say, a long piece, you might want to put a small piece in here so that there's a exit out this way, whereby... you could actually extend extend a wall this way so that you will not be surrounded so even if let's say you got surrounded here here and here there's this little narrow path that you could use to make sure that your piece doesn't get taken away and this has happened before that once this rule is implemented you tend to build little alleyways and again the situation doesn't pop up too much but it's a long term thing that you actually build a little narrow alleyway especially when you build um, those double towers like this you would probably build a escape route just in case with this new rule that imagine if this whole thing gets removed you're pretty much um, screwed there so I don't know this little rule really affects my games I mean like I say the situation actually rarely happens but when we talk strategy, it really does come up that we said, oh, why do you build this little lane here? It's because you did not want to risk this part with many points being surrounded. Especially when you see your opponent starts putting little towers all around you. you that really comes into your mind. So, yeah, basically that's my basic way I feel really improves Castilian, which is already a great game. And thank you very much. I hope you try it. And till next word.